last time on Metroid 2, we got a ton of upgrades and we started drawing a new section of the map. So now we have a plasma beam, we have space jump, we've had spider ball, we got like wave beam, plasma beam, uh, all in a row, and we are down to 20 metroids left. In this area we've got four. Oh, and we got the various suit too, which was nice, the shoulder pads. So it looks like we need some health, but we're at the save point. Oh, retracing where I was when we left off. I think we're still just right here. We dropped down a different area, um, and then we have a save that was right next to an item pickup. We went down and got these two right here too, last stream. Uh, so yeah, let's figure out, get our bearings and, and continue on. Magus, hi, welcome. So this is right, yeah, this is right here. And then we did not defeat the Metroid that lives in this tall vertical hallway because of low health, as you can tell. I think I was going to go up and try to get a refill before we went down and did that fight, maybe. Maybe that was my plan. Um, we know where a nearby missile refill is, but not necessarily a health refill. I kind of want to go up and remind myself what's up here. Oh, we can keep going to the right here. We haven't finished exploring above this tunnel area and the map is so big some of these these uh, sections are just taller than tall Oop. oh lots of spikes and levers oh oh they're timed okay interesting Oh, weird. It's a sensor or something to keep us from getting that pickup. It's like, uh, I'm gonna have to spring ball and then jump over and spider ball, I think. Oh yeah, we got spring ball last time too. I'm assuming these are preventing us from going up this way? Oh, weird. No, you just have to time it right. This is where pinball, this is where pinball comes into play. When are we playing uh, Prime Pinball? I once had a Super Metroid map poster. It was a screenshot of every single room connected together. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I told you I'm gonna make prints of my map, right? <laughs> I'm gonna frame it. Oh no. Well, I tried. I'm gonna leave that alone, I think. So we know this is kind of where we're at here. This long vertical hallway, and I think that's the end of this tall room up here. And there's an item, at least one item there that we missed, so I'll leave it as an open circle. Pew pew. Oh, and we're gonna have to do another fight. With not a lot of health. Semi, welcome in. Chozo, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Some call me Johnny was playing Prime Pinball yesterday. Surprisingly amazing music. I've heard good things about it. Some rave reviews. I did try this, right? I feel like I wish that was something. Hump day, yeah. 
We haven't gotten to do much yet. I believe we're about to do a fight here in this room. Another vertical room for Metroid fight. Not my fave. Let's just go ahead and... Oh, shoot. Uh, and I kind of messed up again. This was the bottom of this room connected to another vertical hallway here. I don't like it. Can I sneak past this one like I did the last one? No. No! <laughs> oh, but this has a... Okay, I can fight you down here. That's way easier. If you will follow me, though, that's the thing. Trying to get them to come to the spot on the map where you want them to. Oh. Hey, that should have that should have hit you. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> Good thing there's no low health beeps. Oh, we're gonna die. It does five at a time. That's that's like really not that bad. That's just an unfortunate arena for us. I'll circle that because we didn't finish that one either. If we had more health, we'd be fine. Started Echoes of the Eye and already my poor Harthian's kneecaps. Oh, I'm so excited, Magus. We're s I, the plan is to start Monday. I can't wait. I'm super, I have the worst FOMO. <laughs> I have the worst, like, um, I don't know, game envy. <laughs> I'm not handling it well. The gamma got me, yeah. Such is life. Jen, please. There we go. This enemy, I don't know how to affect. Oh, I didn't even see the upgrade. I must have been too far over or something. Wait, so we know that this room is a dead end at the bottom. So let's go up and at the top. Dang. We need help. Dun 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 Oh, that was a cool move. Strike the Metroid Gamma while falling to the ground. Does that thing swat missiles away sometimes? I think it does. There we go. Not bad. Now we gotta get back to the save though. 19! That one's complete. <laughs> what is this music with the uh sound effect? Getting used to the new playlist. I feel like there's definitely a secret in here but we're gonna keep going and get our save with 45 health. That's a terrible idea. Oh, Self-vengeance, yeah. Oops, using missiles when I don't need to. We did find space jump, it's been very helpful. 
kind of sad we don't get to use spider ball as much, but uh, the space jump is really good. Oh, I thought that I would fit into that little alcove. I gotta be careful. Ugh, I don't like these platforms. We're gonna do this again. Because it's more reliable. Oh, but how do I get out of this? Oh, no. This seems like a bad idea. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Wait, controller, please. Yes. Yes. That is so helpful. This is an energy refill. I know, my my key for what different things mean is very unreliable. Energy refill. Chicken scratch writing over there. I'm so glad we found that. Okay. Uh, we need to fall back down below here to save. And we gotta go that way anyway because there's another Metroid we need to fight. I'm just gonna drop off of that for now. It's this one, right? Yeah. Didn't know that recharge spot was there. That's a really, really handy one. We needed that. Save, please. Okay. Drop down. Jerryx, hi, welcome. You're good, you're good. You missed one Metroid fight, and that's it. Nice to meet you, hi, welcome in. Thanks for the good luck. Um, I don't remember this room looking like this, but I think we just drop straight down. Of course, I drop right onto the lasers. Jen. Uh. Oh, well, we're at full health. It's fine. Yeah, life's good. I'm glad you're here. Um, we've been <laughs> blazing through the Metroid series, and I'm really excited for Dread. Life is good. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, all right. Getting immediately destroyed. That was unfair. Is there even a, like, surface for us to fight on? Will this follow us down here? Can you fight me down here, please? Who was talking about manipulating the Metroid AI? I get it. It never goes where you want it to go. I don't want to fight you in midair. There, that was promising. I also want missiles equipped. Okay, this is a good, valid strategy. I love when I jump right into it. There we go. I knew we were getting closer. 18. Well, robots remind me of one of the bots from MST3K. Hey, sleep deprived. Welcome in. It's like herding cats, yeah. Two left in this area. I don't have a firm grasp on the map other than like what I've drawn as far as we keep when I when I press start we've been counting down from this number I don't know what other where the other 16 are gonna be I don't know I don't know how to describe that 
Oh, did we know we could fall down here? Yes, we did. Let me uncircle this Metroid because we beat it. We probably should go save, but maybe we'll just hang out for a little bit. There's another one that we already fought that was down here. I remember these step things. And then this room... I ran away from because I don't think we had space jump yet. Nice. Uh, I don't know how high up this is, but we went to the left. And it looks like this is the top here. Oh. Hmm. Which one do we want first? I guess we'll go left. Uh, what are you? <gasps> A flamethrower enemy? Scary. I think this is gonna go up. Krat, hi, welcome. Uh, I wish I had saved. Oh, shoot. I thought that I'd be able to travel up that. Oh god, this thing sucks. What are all these tubes? Ugh. I'm scared. I think this dead ends into this other hallway that we were in. I'm gonna skip to the next song. This playlist is something. I don't like these. One bit. Stop it! gonna have to go back to that health pickup. I feel like I need to put a question mark here because there's like tubes? Don't understand. May not have gotten this far in this. I don't recognize the place. Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks for the posture check for me and for chat. Slim, hi. Return of Samus is pretty good. Um... Oh, this is not what I thought it was over here. Challenging at times, but I think I like it. I'm not a fan of the beeps and boops, so we we opted for our own music. <laughs> Hi, Leon. Welcome in. How are you? Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. You really are the something. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Oh, uh, these always seem to drop missiles, so that's good to know. Remember watching the game and seeing it was challenging. I think it's a challenge for both controls and layout. I think so far. What's the hardest thing about this game? I think the lack of an overworld map, because I'm drawing all the individual areas, but not knowing how many of these there are and how they connect together gets to me a little bit. And, uh... The controls are okay. It's alright. I feel like I would like another E-Tank at this point in the game. We just got another, a second one, but... I feel very squishy. Oh, this closes off. I want to put a thing here. I feel like there's definitely a metro down in this corner where we were, but I don't know how to go up these tubes. I think we're going to get more health. And then come back here, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe. Maybe turn off the music when you're near the end. Oh, absolutely. If there's a song you all really want to hear or there's actual music that we want to listen to, please let me know. Um, and I will turn it back on. I didn't mind it so much in the intro music and then the, like, Chozo Ruins type zone had some interesting music. But... Uh... The beeps and boops got old. This looks great. I think the emote needs upgrade for winter. Aww. <laughs> the little sunglasses. Yeah. We'll see what the emote mods are. Wait, what? We're getting plasma beam again? That was weird. We'll see what the emote mods are for winter. They usually come up with some good ones. We've already got Plasma Beam. Getting Lost had a different meaning back in Metroid 2. It's not unplayable. Yeah, it's re it's really good. It's just the, the map, you have to do it yourself, which I'm enjoying. And, um... Uh... I think the style of just a giant counter of 39 Metroids where they say, okay, ready, go, count down. I wish there was a little more to it than that. It just is kind of grindy. But it's, it's like, like a collectathon, maybe not grindy. Anyway, we're doing our best with it. Sure, it's fairly linear, but unless you're doing like you are, it's easy to get lost or turned around. Yeah. Lost, hi. Speaking of lost, welcome in. The beam is available again because the beams don't stack. Oh. I hadn't learned that yet. But they don't tell you. But I also have purposefully waited to read the manual until later because of enemy spoilers. To be able to tell once you're in the final area. Hmm. Bren, hi, welcome. Fenris, hi, welcome. Can't remember what it sounded like in this one, but I know the end sequence after Redacted was a great tune. I'd like to think this one has just as great a song. Mm hmm Yeah, I... I guess the beams thing, because I didn't ask for that tip... I don't know. So... The beams... Do they do different things in this game, or they want you to pick which one you like better? It's okay, Slim. Just for future reference, we're pretty much like no no game info, but I this one has been really tough for a similar reason with any, like... Older, older game where you're supposed to read the manual, and I didn't, I didn't read the dang manual, so that makes it harder. Yeah, there's a delicate balance of knowing too much and not knowing enough. <laughs> um, safer question about some beams doing different things. I guess we'll find out. I know some beams go through the walls. We've discovered that. And some don't. And... That's it. James, welcome in. Hello. Okay, so I was just in this room, I think. I need to go up and to the left and then get into this hallway again. Asking from current understanding, I know the main interface counter is how many Metroids are left in SR3D in total when you pause the counter shows there in the current area. Yes, yes, we tested that last stream. That was a safe word question that was answered. And it shows that I have two left in this area. 
it's pretty cool. It's a rather rough adventure, but it's so worth it. I... I was talking about this at the beginning of stream. Oh, this room. Okay, that's why I was turned around, because we have to go to the left-hand side. I'm going to be playing this today, and then half of stream on Friday, and then I think we're going to stop. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping we make big, big progress today so that I don't have to just leave the game behind. But for schedule reasons, I need to take a break from it after Friday. Never been quite sure about that. Yeah. Manual covers it more. Yeah, I think so. All right, so now we need to go straight up and not get killed by lasers like we, like we just did. Should I do this? No, because... <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, this is how we damage boosted out of the room before. No! We're gonna die. Okay, well here's a save with 15 health, but we, we know there's a health pickup nearby, and I want to save our Metroid progress, our, our counter. So what are we trying to do now? I am unsure of my next goal. Need to find PDF version of the manual I lost mine many moons ago. I think we have a, a version of the manual in the Discord. Um, if someone wants to snag that link and repost it or I can do it after uh, I don't know. I can do it when I have more health <laughs> and we take a break. <laughs> Oops, I wanted to go over here. Map looks awesome. Thanks, James. It's been fun to draw. I'm really proud of it. The only part that bothers me is I didn't pick what scale I wanted to use at the beginning. And I also, like, because you all... This is kind of small for you. I made the individual rooms a lot bigger when we started, but they were too big, so I had to go back to this this sizing. All right, we wanted this. Got it? Good. Okay, nice. Yeah. Enjoy that manual. I know people were posting a couple of the non-spoilery enemy uh, drawings, and that was pretty cool. Oh, almost spilled water. Scott, hi! <laughs> Welcome! We are playing the OG. Oh, so, speaking of the original, uh, Metroid 2, I tried messing with the emulator colors to get it to recognize Game Boy colors, I couldn't get it to work. I found a couple of um, files for different color, like updated, really cool full color versions. And I couldn't get those to work either. So I think we're just going to stick with the blue and red and, uh, and keep it at that for our playthrough. I know I said that we would switch it, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work off stream. Been wondering for a while now how she's streaming off 3DS. <laughs> Well, <laughs> not for this one. Do you think we'll get Game Boy games to the Switch anytime soon? Probably not, because we just got N64. I think now we're somewhere in this area that I didn't map out super well. So let's try to maybe fill in the gaps there. Maybe next year, yeah. That would be cool. Heavily rumored so I wouldn't call it unlikely. Just not not as soon as I might like, but not definitely not out of the question. 
Because we just, I mean, I can't complain. We just got the N64 update, so there has been news about more of the online library. Uh, we're falling. I remember this little shelf here. There should be a missile refill in the sand. Yeah. In video games such as semantics. <laughs> that was he uh, heavily rumored. I know for a fact that version 1.3 of Color Patch requires the US Europe version of the ROM rather than the world release. See, and I think I'm so <laughs> ROM illiterate that I just find one that works and stick with it and that's all I do. For a Link to the Past, I used to be really good at uh, setting up the randomizer. I knew how to do that. Map cam is awesome, thank you. It's been helpful. I want that ledge up there. There we go. Basically, this is where we came in. There's a step and then a cross. I feel like this is all across. And that's pretty much this room, right? Oh, this area is confusing me. I didn't want to fall down there either. You have a patch version? So if you have a patch version, can I still use my save file? Is that a dumb question? Blue and red is totally fine versus spending a bunch of time configuring nonsense ROM stuff. My my go-to fix is if it's not if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Like we're we're doing just fine with what we've got. But um I will I will further research in the future. Where does this hallway go? You rename the save file. Oh, uh, okay, cool. How are you liking Metroid 2? I started once but didn't get far finish. It's it's good. I actually really like it. <laughs> uh, we were talking about this earlier. It's just a bit of a, like, not as much variety as I would like for, you know, from coming from Fusion where it's go to this area with the jungle zone and then go to this other cool area that's the water zone and it gives you very specific plot points it's like going from super handholdy back to no instructions no plot no dialogue but other than that it's it's a fun time i think it holds up so What is this pit here, and why did I not label it? Oh, hi. Or is that what this is right here? Oh, I think that must be what this is. Hmm, this section is harder to draw. No, you're good, Scott. I don't mind. I don't mind answering those at all. I think the one that uh, gets the most repetitive is which Metroid games have you already played? And I don't like. I don't fault anyone for coming in and asking that. It's just that we made a command for it so that I can say, "Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Please use the Metroid command, and it'll tell you." <laughs> Thanks for thanking the mods, James. Yeah, this is the one where we came, came up into this kind of central area and uh, got an upgrade. And then this was locked, yeah, I remember. I think that's it. TT, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know what I didn't bring up today? But it just happened. Uh, Twitch just sent out, implemented the use email to trap for the first time, use the phone number, verify your phone number. They added that feature. I put it in the um, streaming topics channel in the Discord. But I think that's a nice development. It's, it's a step of hopefully many more steps. <laughs> Speaking of Prime, did they ever put out Prime 4? Did I dream that? I think you dreamt it. <laughs> Apple Avocado, hi. Happy Wednesday indeed. TT, what have you been up to? It's good to see you. Are you playing? <gasps> TT, are you playing Echoes of the Eye? There's now verified users only option for chat. Mm-hmm. Both remakes do a good job making each zone feel different. Every time you go deeper, the creepier it feels. I, I miss that aspect of... The, it just feels very flat the way it is. And I miss, like, you know, Fendrana has cool ice and its own theme song and mood to it. But pretty much I just feel like blue squares. Blue walls. Not yet. Bought immediately. Mm -hmm. We're starting it. We're planning to start it on Monday. I've, I'm having to watch everything. Twitter, Twitch, you name it with blinders. Because I see Mobius and or Outer Wilds. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. It's going to be spoilers. It's going to be spoilers. Saw that earlier today. Hopefully it will be helpful. Yes. I think so. Well, and whatever you implement in your own chat... It says, if you ban someone with an email address, they can no longer chat, and, like that, any accounts linked to that email address or phone number can no longer chat in your chat. So you can hit multiple accounts at once. That dream felt real, I'm sorry, Chozo. Oh, here, uh, TT, can we get the Discord command, please? That one's a mod only. Thank you. IP banning, but for registered emails, yeah. So my plan now that I've kind of finished this map, this doesn't go farther down here, it just ends here. Um, I think is to exit and explore. Although there is some stuff over here that maybe I should attempt to uh, figure out I don't know I don't feel like going after that missile pack this is all just straight across here that looks better that's how Bayo 3 fans felt till recently yeah unfortunately verified users doesn't cover followers so you can still get follow bots yeah SiriBot's been really good for that. Commander Root tool is really good for that. It's still mega frustrating though, but at least, uh, I don't know. I hope, I hope they continue to do stuff. It's not the end. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Oops, I almost got hit by that pokey enemy. I do kind of miss the Cheerio beams. I liked that one. I even have a picture in my mind for the press start screen for Metroid Prime 4. I'm sorry. Someday. They, what did they, they said on the direct when they announced Dread, like Metroid Prime 4 is still coming and that's pretty much it. These Commander Root haven't seen any bots since. That's good, that's good. So now this map is connected to, I think, this one. Sorry, hang on one moment, please. We're over here in this corner. If you miss Cheerio Beams, you can always go back to Mother Brain Room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Never. I didn't finish The Witness yet. Nope, I'm crawling along snail's pace at this point, but... um. I don't know, still loving it. Oh, 
come on. I will take this upgrade then. What I'm thinking of, I did see an announcement photo, so that may be what I have in mind. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what else I didn't announce? I was talking about the schedule for this week. Oh, but we did talk about it Monday. Um, the Everyone is John stream that's coming up on Saturday. I just need to, I need to remember to put it in the Discord. So now, this, this area I didn't draw super well, but we are... Oh, where? Wait, what? I don't know. We're in a tunnel with flying bugs. Where does this go? Is this where we came in? No, this is that other super long hallway. Oh, and then there's a save station at the end of this. And it goes to this area. Which has the Metroid that we don't know how to get to. Okay. I don't want to go over there. How do I get out of this little section? I think I go down and to the left. Can I continue The Witness on Sunday? Yes! I'm gonna keep playing The Witness on Sundays. Uh, hopefully until... Oh, come on, Jen. Sorry, hang on. Until we beat it? Because I think you can beat it, but then I think after that you can 100% it. I don't know that I'm gonna try to 100% it on stream. But I will keep playing it until we beat it on stream. Okay, that is acid. So now I think we're right here. Why did I draw this giant S? Oh, because that's the hallways that I forgot to drew that makes this, like, zigzaggy thing. Also, didn't we have a beam that was able to damage this enemy before and now we don't? That's kind of something. Nope, I, uh, there we go. My goal now, I think, is to just go back to the ship, because we were gonna do that last time. And I didn't, so we can we can test that out. See what happens. See if I can figure out how to get back up there. There is more witness uh to come, yes. I posted episode three of the witness to YouTube today. That was today, right? And I will be putting Metroid 2 on YouTube as well. And I think we're like five people away from the community tab last I checked. We're really close to 500 subscribers, which is so cool. Eclectic, hi, welcome in. Ooh, this, this area is gonna get me lost. But I think we just go more up and more over. Why is it almost every Metroid game has one of those screens? There's always the one Morph Ball Maze area, yeah. Cause Morph is cool. 
Metroid's good. Today we've killed two of them. And we are currently maybe just a touch lost. But I think it's okay. Lots of porcupine enemies. Plasma beam, we have various suit, which you can see. We have space jump. We have a spring ball. Porcupine, yeah. Where does, um, where's the top of this room? Is this all just regular ceiling here? I think so. Uh, yeah, because we already came over this way. Metroid crop has been great this season, yeah. I'm calling it an early night tonight. Always a delight to catch you, and chat, have a good one. Thanks, Pratt. Take care. We'll see you around. What if we go through all these tunnels and it ends up not being our ship? But if it isn't, that's okay because it'll be someplace new and we're looking for new places as well. I definitely think it is. It's this it's just this windy windy tunnel situation. I feel like I remember. But maybe not. Do we get the fun <laughs> original overworld music again from the first day that was so upbeat and wonderful? Is there anything else up here? Oh. Is this new? Wait, I think that's how we came down. Yeah, that's this one that I labeled entry. Okay, so this is gonna be potentially a dead end over to the left. Looks different without the acid, yeah, for sure. But maybe it's not a dead end anymore because of the acid or an earthquake or something. I remember these enemies. There should be a room to the left down here. Oh, Jen. There we go. Toad! Is this all new? This wasn't here before, right? Because now I think we're somewhere over here. Maybe it connects back up to where these spikes are. Oh, I remember this. There we go. And that's a refill. So I think that's like the end of this little tunnel here. Maybe we fought a Metroid in this room. I just, I hadn't gotten to the point in my map making skills that I had marked it. Jen! 
I can't seem to hit this frog. The frog is what my weakness. There was a fight there, yeah. Early on. And then there was a frog battle. I don't know that this is gonna be <laughs> worth it for us to come back up here then, but now we're learning. Yeah. They make this a pain to get out of here. Is this gonna be another chase? Probably. Or not a chase, escape. Timed escape. Yeah, we're going back to the ship. You have more refills marked on the map. That is always a good thing. What's up? What's up there? What's going on with this? fun. Did that serve a purpose or did I just confuse myself by going through there? I think it was just a shortcut, yeah. Oh, come on. Wow, beautiful stars. Oh no, this damages you. <laughs> Our ship. Amazing. We've come so far. I was hoping there would be something new here or something. I don't know. <laughs> it has a very thin atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's refills in here, but you it doesn't do the thing where you press up or down or save. You just have to walk to the left and the right, it looks like. Yep. Good, good. Alright, I I know that was kind of silly to have to go to go back there, but um I'm glad we did because I was very not confident about my map from the beginning and it turns out it's fine. It doesn't seem like there's that many branching paths at this point, which makes sense, but... Ship sprite looks really good for Game Boy. It does look really good. The sprites look really good. Um, Chozo maybe on the break. I think because I, I wasn't able to do it before stream, um... We might just stick with this for today, but we could do it for Friday. Also, you should have full Discord access now, Chozo. Thanks for joining. Seems like a name that the Federation gave it. SR388, yeah. Yeah, that was just a little shortcut. Just right there. That's it. Just a tiny one. So where do we go from here? 
The other reason I went back to the ship is I don't know where to go next. I wanted to ask before I forget. Oh, no worries. Just like we humans name planets with weird numbers. And stars, we name, we give all of our stars just a number, right? Uh, let's save, because we're at full health, full missiles. We are here. S for save. This goes up to the ship. This is just like a squiggly path to the ship. Maybe we're supposed to go back here because there's spikes here and I can get past them with space jump now. And then we haven't returned to... Where is it? my multiple pages of map. This area we haven't been back to in a while, but I don't know that this area has spikes or high jump or anything that was preventing me from progressing. I, I thought we just cleared it. Cleared it being I drew the whole map. I don't know if I left any Metroid fights behind, which is kind of the whole point, huh? Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's figure this out. No, I meant to jump over that porcupine! Refilling health. This room used to have acid in it. So then this opened up when we had that earthquake, which was what enabled us to go down here. Oh no. Well, wait, is this all new then? Where does this go? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost in the sauce. We're doing fine. This is Metroid 2, currently watching Super Metroid. Nice, hi Jeff, welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Uh, and thanks for the yes. follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Yeah, we, um, I don't know which ones you've watched, but after Super, we played Prime, Zero Mission, and Fusion, and now we're on Metroid 2, the original. <laughs> oh, I skipped this tunnel earlier. Is this, was this a fight in here at one point? Perhaps. We started with three and saved two for the end. I was going back. Okay, forgive me. I wasn't fully in on the sequence of, like, the chronological order of Metroid games before. And, uh, oh, this room. Okay. It didn't quite make sense to me, but I was going back through some of the YouTube comments and I'm- I- it's making more sense now what order these games go in. <laughs> and yeah, we played them in a weird order, but it's okay.
Always good to see people giving Metroid 2 some love. Any version, all versions. Just, be, just because we're playing this one doesn't mean I won't play the other versions or I prefer this one. I just, this is where I started, was with the original. And it's, I think it's worth playing like where the other games came from first so I can appreciate them as well. Um, and this one's the easiest to stream of the three, so. There we go. This is gonna put us over here. This is the save, right here. And then there's gonna be turrets, I think. Metroid was on Nintendo, Super Metroid was Super Nintendo, so this must have been on Nintendo 2. <laughs> Yeah, there's no rush, exactly. Ta, hi, thanks for the good luck. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Starting with Super was arguably the best call. It recaps one and two, it's excellent on its own, it lets you ap appreciate future. I think so. I'm really glad we started with Super. Spoiler for me losing my mind watching Super. Do I find the secret at the top right of Bubble Mountain? I don't know. Probably not. What did we get to? 74%? Something like that? This is the turret room, and I'm dying once again to the dang turret. Leave me alone. AM2R should only get better with new patches, yeah. Now we're here, and I want to get up here. Okay. I guess we can save. Feels so good to know there'll be Metroid 5 in just a week. It's awesome. Maybe there's new stuff open down here too. We came we went to this section under the bridge before and I think didn't know exactly I didn't know what to do yet, so we can uh we can explore that again too. There's a huge visual patch on the way. Cool. We live in the best timeline. Yeah. Joking because I watched day one and that's at the end. It would have been hard not to say anything. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying, Jeff. Yeah. I guess I didn't have to space jump along this, huh? It's good for me to practice my space jump, though. Saw a non-spoiler review of some technical stuff in Dread. Ooh, cool! And it looks fun! I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Did we fight the Metroid that's up here? We did! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I circled this M, then. That's all done. Oh, well, good first jump. <laughs> Don't hit the spikes. Oh, this doesn't go up anywhere? It just goes across to... Something. Where are we now? I don't have this mapped properly up here. But we were able to get up and around the spikes. Question, do you find Metroid's cute? I do! <laughs> the larva! Are real cute. 
Wait, I had a weapon that damaged this enemy before. I want it back. I forget which one. Didn't the Cheerios weapon damage these? I'm followed now. I'm gonna leave to watch Super. Okay, sounds good, Jeff. Thanks. Take care. Do I have the squishy Metroid amiibo? No. Sadly, no. Baby Troids are cute. We're still gonna do... Oh, you know what else? We're still gonna do Metroid nail art. Okay, that's still happening. I think because we're not as far along on the Zero Suit cosplay as I would have liked, I was thinking about doing it Friday, but I, I might do it for the day that we start Dread. So maybe... Next week we'll do- I'm trying to figure out all the like fan art, cosplay, costumey things that we're doing on our schedule. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> I know I can get back up there, but uh, what a pain in the butt. I'm just getting demolished by all these spiky enemies. The only amiibo I wanted was the Metroid one, yeah. Where does this take us? Oh, we've been in- so we're like... I don't understand. Are we all up in this section up here? We must be. I think this connects to this. And now I'm somewhere here-ish. I think I'm gonna fall down and end up on the left side of the turret again. This happened to us once before. Okay. Well, could be worse. Um, I don't have to go, on, go to that side. I could go over here, right? No? Oh, this is... I think this is this room right here. You passed the test? I missed that until now. <laughs> the R Metroid's cute test. Oh. This stinks. We were so good on health and then I just... I don't know that I like the plasma beam. It's good for some things. Do I even want to save? Not really, because I don't think we've accomplished anything. Let's just keep going. This is the turret room. And I keep thinking this is something here. But it's not. Okay, we made it. In a big circle. <laughs> Zara, how's it going? Welcome in. More backtracking. Yeah, we're kind of at that point. So now I have a very small map for this section that I, I didn't think we were going to end up needing. It is, I think, this one. Maybe something here has opened up since we were last at this spot. Ooh, don't drop your controller, Jen. Hyped for Dread, so finding streamers that play Metroid. Oh, nice. You're in the right place. We're hyped for Dread, too. Just finished um, Fusion not that long ago, so now we're doing... We're starting the, the Metroid 2s. Dreading Dread. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. How many left in the area? Two. But... I'm a little bit... 
Ooh. Like, I don't know where the next area would be even if I wanted to go to the next area. That's, that's where we're at right now. Like the DIY mapping. Thanks. Hi, Stanley. Welcome. Oh, I always forget those are spikes. Looking forward to more alien moments in Dread. Hey, Carl. Welcome. Dreading it in a good way. Yeah. And then there's an item in here. Maybe, maybe not. No. Why is this like this? I remember here. Do you see the physical pre-order goodies for Dread? No. I haven't seen, um, like, anything. I saw the announcement, but I've kind of blocked out a bunch of the details from my memory, because I don't... Because I don't want to know. We fought a Metroid in here. Tech decals from Best Buy, pin set from GameStop. Huh. Bunch of goodies. And this is where we got the Varia suit. But no new map areas. I don't know where to go next then. Hmm. We plop. A Samus pin and an enemy pin. Nice. Very cool. is that I don't fully know how to get back to this area either. Because I think we can go up here now. Oh, I'm not doing a good job of showing that. Up this hallway now? I don't know that I could ever go to the top of it. Maybe? Maybe. Unclear. But this all... Uh, I don't know. I guess we have to try. That's my only place I haven't gone back to yet. I'm hoping my copy doesn't take too long to ship. It's painful after a game releases to avoid spoilers, you're telling me. Echoes of the eye right now. I'm gonna keep complaining about it. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited for Monday. Oh, that gave us a big health drop, good. I'm gonna be doing a long blackout on Dread. I don't expect to get it until around Christmas. Yeah. It's hard. You have to like block certain words from Twitter and things like that. Or, you know, wherever you get your gaming news. You have to look out for it.
COVID might have things take longer to ship. I hope not. Hope everyone's doing well. Sending human kindness. Thanks, number. Sending human kindness to you, too. They put the pre-order bonus announcement in the post direct eShop sale page. Buy the games on sale digitally, except Dread, that one physically at full price. Huh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> Dread's the only reason I might buy Switch, really been avoiding buying it, but now I just might have to cave in, yeah. I had to order my copy from Amazon to get the special edition, yeah. Dropping down, going to the right, ooh, ow. And then the right again. But not down here. I don't think. Talk about confusing. I think... No, because this goes back to the ship. I think this is the first spot where we can go two different ways. I would like that help, thank you. Where does this go? Oh, that's acid. Oh, so this will open up maybe eventually, maybe? And then this Part of the map is... Hopefully going where we want to go. Oh, I'm not so sure. Because I think this puts us back... Here. And goes to that section with the missile refill, but maybe that's what we wanted. Oh, come on. It's just at the wrong height for me to not hit it standing up. Stop. Oh, what is this song? I feel like a bunch of the songs on this playlist are not chill lo-fi. They're weird techno. I'm gonna have to look for more playlists, I think. Hate the offset of the flying enemies. Yeah, same. And you can't just run through stuff in this game either. I'm not good enough with space jump to get around anything. This is the missile upgrade. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that.
Oh, which map is it? It's this one. I don't know how to get back to that other place then. This is more synthwave than lo-fi, yeah. Uh, let me change the playlist. This one is just not it. So, I'm at a crossroads. This is the map with our ship on it. We were in this area for quite a while, we made a lot of progress, but this part of the map over here is the section that I had a hard time drawing, and I thought that this, somewhere on the right hand side, connected to this map here. But I don't know how, and I'm trying to get back here. And it's frustrating. I didn't do a good job of marking any of this. We're doing our best. There was a time many moons ago when I was pretty decent with space jump timing. Not so much anymore. Ugh. Stop! I'm not even trying to fight you, I'm trying to exit this area. Okay. See, because these float up to get ya, you can't even... ...space jump over them. They're too fast. I guess I just want to confirm that that area is connected to the starting area, if that's even a correct assumption in my head, because I didn't mark it as that properly, but I think in my memory it works out that way. And this is a different area altogether. that I don't feel like going down into right now. Map looks good so far. I can describe the missing entry point connecting the two. Yeah, okay. I, I wasn't sure if it was vague, too vague for me to ask for help with that. Um, but safe word is the, the starting area with the ship connected to that first zone. Like, I keep thinking it's Chozo Ruins. I don't know, I don't. I don't know that it is. They don't have names. It is connected, I just forget how they connect. And this goes down to that room with the spikes, I think. Yeah. Which is part of this, and it comes back up here. Do you think they're Chozo runes? There's no harm calling them that. Uh, where does this go? Acid. Great. Give them names that help, yeah. That's fair. hanging in your streams very relaxing thanks Scott I'm glad as relaxing as being lost in Metroid 2 can be I know a lot of people 
do not put up with this game, but like I said from the get-go, we're here to zen out and explore and, and try to beat it without getting too frustrated, so. Um, I'm glad it's gonna fight you. Here, jump high and then I'll go low. Perfect. Jump high, go low. Jump high, go low. Nice. Way better method. How do I get up and out of here? Is it down and to the left? That's where that acid is though, right? Is it this? That's that other long hallway. It must be this. Is there another way out of here besides this acid? Okay, I got this, that acid room confused with a different acid room. When all the acid starts blurring together, you know you've played too many Metroid games. There are two ouchy liquids, yeah. And then an out ouchy atmosphere. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Gotta go have a good rest of stream. Eclectic, take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Where I wanted to try exploring a new path, but I but mm, this is going back to the ship again. But maybe I was supposed to go this way, and there was another spot for me to turn instead of going to the ship. I don't think so. Maybe here? No. Maybe up here? Oh, this is promising. Yes, I think this is it. Oh. We hadn't caught, gone this way yet, I don't think. Well, since I was backtracking, I don't think I found this path. Good, that was rough. I think there's a health refill on the ceiling of this section. Uh, over to the right as well, which will be helpful. It wouldn't be, like we said, it wouldn't be Metroid 2. If we didn't get a little lost. But dang, that was a bit frustrating. And we're still not in the clear yet. I could be completely wrong and celebrating prematurely. That is very possible. Kaiser, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. I think this is this vertical hallway, maybe? I think we're doing alright. What I miss, I couldn't join it first because I had to get your vaccine. Nice. Um, not too much. We killed two Metroids and we did a lot of backtracking, so I think you're good. I think we're- oh shoot. Jen, don't point at the map while you're getting bombarded by enemies. I think we're right here now. Wait, why is my ship here? I know, Jerryax, I was like, uh, I might not want to celebrate yet. We might still be in the wrong place. 
and I don't know if we want to come back down here, but let's go save first. Let's go try to get that health refill. Um, I have a feeling we might have to, like, exit the same way we just came in anyways. Oh, wow. How do you... How do you damage me three times from the same uh, instance of you emerging from the hole? These are the worst. I used to love refill enemies, and now I hate them with a passion. Like, I just want our regular Super Metroid refill bugs. Is that so much to ask? Are we remapping? Sort of. We did do a little bit of a remapping mission by our ship. Um, and now we are coming back to an area we did before. Mechanical proficiency like super, but also the virtue of being cautious. Mm-hmm. Covers the same space as wave, but straight and consistent. And it still goes through walls. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's go back and get this that one. So now I know I didn't realize they didn't stack, so I should have labeled the different ones. The only one I think I know where it is is plasma. Oh, well I should label this as ice. I for ice. But I don't think we'll be coming back to get it for the second time. Unless we have to get it for something. I can't think of an instance where we need ice beam and not space jump. This one I think is plasma. So then I think this one is either space or, or wave. I'm not sure. Meme, welcome in. How's it going? Super made it so easy when you could carry all the different beams. Yeah. What a luxury. Um, why am I going to the left over here? Away from the energy pickup? Someone answer me that. I think it's along the ceiling up here, maybe? You played Am Too Hard? Nice! Oh, come on. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I know it's over there, but we just gotta get back to it. We gotta find a better wall to start out on. I don't know why I decided to go up and to the left. This will do, right? Should we have warned you or would you still want to roll with the punches? What, for the beam stacking? No. I think it's fine. It's different, but oh, you mean like to not pick up the item. I thought you meant like to not play the game because the beam stack. I see what you're saying. No, it's cool, Mr. L. Now that I, I'm glad I know now. Um, and we'll go back and get one of the better ones. Super finally had coding and memory space to allow them to stack. Yeah. Hand holding back in the day we had to make decisions with beams. Yeah. It's interesting seeing it now in this way. Mm hmm. Uh, why not? Why not more than one meme? You could still play this one, too. Are you gonna play Samus Returns? Do you have a way to? I could, but I don't think I will right now. Fair. Very fair. I want to play scary games for a bit since I feel all my time is going to be dedicated to Dread this October. Yeah. I'm interested to know, to start seeing how long Dread is, how big of a game it is. Health! Yes! I'm so glad we marked this. And 180 missiles. Can 
You're gonna speed run it? Oh my gosh. Good luck. I will not be speed running it. No way. I'm gonna take my time, <laughs> as always. <laughs> Ice Beam should be fine with all the missiles, true. I'm not using them. I, I always forget how many we pick up and that I should just use them all. What am I saving for? But I get this irrational fear that I'm gonna run out of missiles and I will need them for something. Well, we did earlier. The last stream we ran out of missiles in a new area of the map. I had to go, I just had to go find a refill and then it, and it was fine. I like all the Metroids, you can very clearly see them play with new areas, new ideas each time and combine them into what worked. Yeah. Looking at maps, and my goodness, uh, did they change things up between this and Samus Returns? My first playthrough, I'm gonna take my time. Oh, I thought you meant you were gonna pick it up and speedrun it. <laughs> I see, I see. There, That's a thing people try to do, I think. That's a category. Um... We're gonna be playing this until Friday, and then we're switching gears for a little bit before Dread 2. We're gonna play Echoes of the Eye. And then Dread. That's the plan. And then I think after Dread, we're gonna finally get to play Axiom Verge 2, which I'm very excited for. Echoes of the Eye is the Outer Wilds DLC that just came out yesterday. <laughs> And I'm yes, so excited yes, for it. Yes. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for supporting a fellow human. Okay. So. We are going to this little section of the map over here to see if I... If there's something I missed. But then... We have a couple other areas over here we can ex we can better explore as well. I think we we learned that this ends up just dropping us down in the first area. It connects. I didn't do a good job drawing it that way, but I know what it means. We Oh yeah, missiles. So... I'm a little confused though, where does this come out? Okay. what I was looking at. You haven't done a bad job. Thanks, Chozo. Yeah, I think we did all right. Oh, oh, right. So there isn't anything. This is where we picked up Spider Ball for the first time. I think the reason I left this blank on the map is because I because we fell down that hole and I never confirmed that there was a <laughs> a ceiling there. It continued to trick us. Why is this like this? No, no secret. All right. There's got to be a secret in here somewhere. Did we ever go up this way? I think I tried to and failed.
Mm. Nothing. Hmm. We still haven't found a new area. This is an energy refill. Right, missiles. Um, do I want to go down, I think, and to the left? Yeah, here. And this is sneaky. I guess we can go down here and backtrack for a second. And confirm that there's nothing else in here. I mean, sure, we can save. There's one more area I want to look at, and then I'm out of ideas, perhaps. Oh. My aim is really good. Is there anything on this wall? No. This should be refill room. No, go away from me. I dislike you very much. Ah! Oh, stupid enemies. And now we're over here. Okay. HO, how's it going? Welcome in. I just want to drop down here. The refill terror again. Yeah. Why are you using missiles? Because we just talked about it. I have a bajillion. <laughs> and I have ice beam right now. This 
this is our this is our exit. I don't think there's anything down there. At least not to the left, maybe to the right. I mean, there is, but I think we already got it. How are misadventures of SR388? They're okay. I am a little unsure what area we're supposed to go to next, but we're working it out. I remember, I feel like I remember this room being a much bigger pain the first time we did it. I miss not being able to morph midair. I miss diagonal beam. Ugh, come on. Without Spring Ball, it was harder, yeah. There were three Metroids in this zone, and we got them all. I think we finished this little corner down here. This game caused me to have a Metroid phobia. The grown ones are scary, but the babies are cute. But that, it, yeah, that's a valid phobia. Can I semi spoil you since you've been through here already? Depends. What about an enemy? An item pickup I missed? The name of the area? I'm I'm not looking for anything right now. I'm just I mean I I'm going back to areas we've already been to to see if I can find the newest area of the map and also to see if I correctly mapped everything. Oh, a refill? Um yeah, sure. <laughs> Spikes. Oh, this was the one where I kept, yeah, jumping into the spikes during the Metroid fights. Backseater's dungeon awaits you if you say too much. <laughs> There's no such thing as a backseater's dungeon. There is a realm of the unban requests, though. You don't want to go there. How long does this ice beam last? Kind of a long time. And it seemed like when it was done, the enemy just melted. The room with all the places you went through has a shortcut in the ceiling. Oh, cool. This is such a pain now. Whatever, pancakes. Leave me alone.
Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, there we go. This one? Or a different one? This one. That enemy is so well placed. It's really annoying. It takes me so long to get through some of these rooms. I'm like praying we never have to come back here again. For being relatively linear, I still feel like it's different from other Metroidvanias because I feel like it doesn't. You don't get to a point and say, oh, I'm gonna need this item. You get to a point and it's it's like a blocked path and then you have an earthquake and you have to remember where a blocked path was that wasn't obviously a blocked path because so many of the stuff in the beginning it was it was me going back to a room not looking for the next area and then going wait i couldn't get through here before this used to be acid <laughs> which i find very strange At least we got health back. So what am I doing now? I don't know. I have no leads. I'm not particularly intrigued by any... Anywhere. I want there to be a goofy warning sign for that. No backseaters allowed. Violators will be sold to the circus. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. It's a linear game with sections of non-linearity along the way because it's a Game Boy game. I get that. It's just, like, I don't mind non-linearity. Love it. I don't mind linearity. Sometimes it's really great. What I don't like is it's missing that, for me, there's a part of my brain that goes, ooh, that thing right there, I have to come back here later with bombs, double jump, grapple, whatever, electricity beam, uh, axiom disruptor, and you see it and you make a mental note of it and then you go and you explore, you get an item and you go, okay, I know there's places I have to go back to, but in this game, I need to kill more Metroids to open stuff, which there's, I think, one Metroid that I left unkilled because I couldn't figure out how to get to it. And maybe that'll give us another earthquake, but then how am I supposed to know where to go back to? There's not a sign that says, return here after an earthquake. There's not like something on the wall, other than, I guess, I always need to go back to the rooms with acid. After an earthquake. We could go get our... <laughs> Spazer back if we want to. Acid is a main sign. Right, that's the only one I know so far, but I don't I don't know if there's others. What even is a landmark? Yeah. We'll appreciate the remakes more as a result of the current endeavor. Yeah, definitely. So much potential here, but it's missing some key things I love about Metroidvanias that I've been very spoiled on. I Yeah, I think you're taking this a little too literally, Kaiser. I'm just like... 
It's a it's a midstream gen reflex on the game thus far. <laughs> um, besides, it's time for our stream break anyway. Let's go do that. I will step away, have a snack, come back ready to go. So um, if you need to stretch or use the bathroom or get water, do all the things, I will see you in a couple minutes. Thanks everyone. Welcome back humans. I hope you had a good break. I went up and got a snack. So that'll help us explore, right? <laughs> Here, let me turn off the flashing pause screen. Um, here's our map. Here's our Samus. Let's get moving again. I can't wait for me to see later sections. I'm worried we're not gonna get to later sections. We're at day three and I feel like I'm not making enough progress. Um... It's good. I like it, but I don't love it. That's my that's my current verdict of this game. I think it's it's tough to compete with everything else that's out right now that's on my to playlist that I wanted to play this one and beat it. But also I'm ready to play other things too. We'll see, we'll see. Mom, hi, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Do we, should we go for, I, this, this playlist, I really am not vibing with any of these playlists. Um, I need like a sleepy time one. These are all too funky. This one maybe? Late night ambient sleep music? We'll try that. Wherever you last left off somewhere. Got my hand hi, hind handed to me by final boss in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh no, Hylian. Article feels like vindication. Metroid 2 Return of Samus is the original Game Boy at its best. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I like it. I'm hitting a wall with it. Day 3 is our day... Six of Prime is our day three of Outer Wilds. Curse of the days that are three or divisible by three. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at. I don't even I need to find at least where that one Metroid is that I have that I don't know how to get to. Oh, it's this area. That's this area branches off of the main map. It's when you fall down that giant hole. Is that where we're closest to anyway? So we should just we should just go check it out. Oh, BB. this room, but instead of going up, we drop down. This is a very important room that I did not know how to navigate properly before. And I don't have it mapped properly, so we're gonna do our best. This is gonna connect us back to that one room with the spikes. I never confirmed- oh, Jen. If we can um, drop down there, which I'm kind of curious about. Oops. Green Mazing, how's it going? Welcome in. This is what we want to open up next, is that acid, I think.
part of your frustration might be lack of music? I don't think so. I mean, I know that the music changes, like, when the area changes would, would give a maybe better indicator. But a lot of that one area we spent so much time in didn't have any music. Yeah, I know, Kaiser, but I'd rather my own music than an area with just boop boop beep boop. <laughs> Also love a uh, game paper map. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's been it's been very helpful. I'm glad we're mapping it like this. Um, there's only one area that I kind of... Oh, this is a one-way thing. That I kind of messed up and then we went back and retraced it. So I feel much better about the map. It's, it's not the map that's giving me trouble today. It's... It's just not knowing... It's kind of like where we were with Super when I didn't know how to get to the next part of um, Norfair. Because I missed that, that one secret in the ceiling. The experimental music! Yeah. It's a double-edged sword, yes. I will agree to that. This is the hallway I want. Yes. I keep trying to make sure, like, I center it well on the screen for you all. Worst OST in the series without a doubt, despite a few tracks being okay. Game Boy music is difficult. I can't think of a Game Boy game. I mean, Link's Awakening, I love some of the songs in that. Maybe I just am not very familiar with as much Game Boy music. I feel like it was hard to make real bangers on a Game Boy. <laughs> but, you know, prove me wrong. What are your favorite Game Boy soundtracks? Um, this goes down. Well, and Pokemon. Okay, Pokemon's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty good. You're right. See? I'm forgetting. Link's Awakening Tall Tall Heights, yes! You're gonna make me want to sing it. It sometimes feels like the game is bugged with how hard it is to find critical adversaries, <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 Composer yes. was on another level. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the follow, thanks for supporting a fellow human. Welcome in. Uh, we want to go up here, right? But not over. Keep going up. And there's gonna be that cobweb room. And first we're gonna get beat up by these... Shake weights! <laughs> this had a Metroid in it. Oh, I miss... You know what else I miss? Power grip. It's been so long since I've held a game brick that I can't remember how anything sounds like, yeah. Also, Pokemon had four years of extra time to get used to working with Game Boy Audio Engine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This one. This I don't know how to get to. But I'm assuming we have to find the entrance to this room before we can continue. Is what it seems like. Was I supposed to come back here with Spazer or Plasma or something? Did we not have those the last time we were here? I wish there was an easier way for me to test that out. I didn't even think of that. Link's Awakening is, in my opinion, the best soundtrack the Game Boy has to offer, save for maybe Final Fantasy Legend 2. I love Link's Awakening. Can you not fit in that if you're... No. Alright. Well, eh. <clears throat> it's fine. 
is totally fine. Run! Run, Samus, run! Oh, I don't even have missiles equipped. Oh, these can't damage you if I don't kill the little cobwebs in this room? Oh, I just used a bunch of missiles doing that? I don't know. This is horrific. I'm glad we saved near here. This room sucks. Yeah, stay up there while I clear a path to shoot you. There was another Metroid shell room that wasn't fully explored. I, I'm, I'm not asking for hints. I'm not asking for suggestions of where to go next yet. I didn't say safe word. Um we're we're at a we're at a, a crossroads of wanting to make a lot of progress in this but also not not wanting to um not wanting hints or spoilers. I'm I'm still stubborn on that. Having only very rare good Game Boy musics could prove it's indeed hard to make good ones on it. Yeah. <laughs> the immortal words of General Pepper from Star Fox. Good luck. Um Train of thought, train of thought, train of thought. Stay with it, Jen. Uh, okay. Train of thought backtracking, yeah. We're having a tough time staying with our current objective today. I'm gonna abandon this area down here for now. I put a question mark by it, but I don't think that's it. My hunch says to go to this area. There you go. Map cam! No. I refuse to die to these little flying bugs. Pow, 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 pow. This is gonna be our missile refill. Oh no, but we have to do this room first? Oh, the... Excuse you? You can just... Keep regenerating out of there when the other one is frozen? No. No! I also refuse to die in this room. Toons, hi, welcome! <laughs> um, the shooties are okay. <laughs> we are... doing a thing. We're... we don't really need this missile refill, we need the health refill. Regenerating enemies, yes. Exactly. Oh. I'm not gonna die in this hole. BB says she won't either. She's tough. How am I supposed to get up to that ceiling, though? I don't remember how I got it, but I know there's a refill up there. Was it from the right-hand side, maybe? Oh, shoot. Maybe. It'll be worth it once we get there. 
Oh, I was looking at chat and there's very much spikes right there. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. How did we get it though? It must be even further to the right. I must be too far to the left. And now that we're back in this area, we can go get Spazer again if we want to. I'm I'm gonna need it. Holy crap! It's just the little things in this game that um evade my skill level. <laughs> This is how we get down to the thing we need, but I don't want to go down there yet. Okay, and BB really wants to say hi, so we'll probably indulge her and let her say hi, because she's cute and, uh, you know, spoiled. <laughs> she says, you better! Free cat cameo. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring her on here. Meow. Ooh, oh, no! I thought it didn't go over that far! I want to get this health first, and then we can say hi to BB. go. Always worth it. What a mess. Okay. BB wants to say hi. Thank you, thank you. I'll usually if she's doing that and I feel like bringing her in, I will. But I won't go to the cat cameo screen unless somebody redeems it. So thank you. Here's BB. Spoiled kitty. Yep. Duncan is probably nearby too. Looking as fluffy as ever. Cutie with the snooty. <laughs> Everybody say hi. I love our cat breaks. Oh, look at those eyes. What you doing, honey? Are you comfortable? So pretty tortoise shell. Yeah, she's a she's a tortie and white. Because technically calico is three color, tricolor, which she has three. But the white is only on her mittens, her belly, and like that bit of her face, you know? So I just call her a torty, torty in white. Her back doesn't have any of the white. It's torty. No, I did it wrong. Oh god. No, coordination, please. interesting most cats are not too thrilled to be on camera she she loves being held i mean especially when it gets to that point in the stream where she decides she wants to come meow at the door like all she wants is attention from me whether that's me picking her up or giving her treats or whatever she's like yeah i'll sit here in your arms for a while i did it wrong again There we go. But that's not how we get it. Is it the one above this then? Oops. No. Oh, this is so hard.
And I'm stuck in the wall. There we go. Oh. Is it this one here? But I can't get to that the same way I got to the other one, so let's just leave. Spiderball pathing is not the best here. Yeah. Half the battle is knowing if I'm on a and if I'm sitting at an angle or not. So that I can press the appropriate direction. Okay, there's a save down here. Oh, right, because when the blocks come back, they hurt you. Sometimes. Let's go down here and oh this hallway is terrible let's go to the left and get spacer I think is what's here yep goodbye ice beam I will keep this one. I like this one. And wave beam, but I don't remember where wave beam is, and I don't feel like backtracking for that is necessary. Okay, now we want to go up. That was lucky. There was a Metroid in here. We want to go up and to the right if we can. By ice, we need some space between us. Haha. <laughs> I couldn't remember if the beams recharge, they don't in Nestroid. What do you mean recharged? Oh, they come back in the in the room that we got them from. We learned that earlier. Um because I, for whatever reason, decided to go back into the plasma beam room and was like, why is this here? Wait, so this just... Was there an item over there? Maybe there was. That I didn't mark. Okay, now we want to go down and to the right. Which, this is the shell... Oh, we fought the Metroid that's to the left. I think that's the shell that belongs to it. But I think there's another shell up here. Oh, I was doing good on this earlier. In this room, I think there's a shell and there's those scary, scary, these things. Flamethrower guys. And whatever that is. Oh, do I have to? It's, oh, come on. Is it this again? No? Oh. 
Wait, what? No, come back. There we go. Okay, this is right here. Which I think I made this hallway too long because I think... We're just gonna end up in a room with a Metroid. I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna spit us out. But there is gonna be a Metroid fight. Yeah, that was tricky. Oh, more tubes. Please don't be a secret floor that- Oh, hi! Okay. This is the last one of this area. Oh, it's just a- it's just a little alpha. Hiding in the pipes. Earthquake time! Da 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 da. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Scary. Where's our nearest save from here? Uh, up and out, I think. Unless this area gets magically deeper now, that is also a possibility. Oh, this is different. Right? Doesn't th this look different now? Progress! We made important progress. Hey, Daxon, welcome in. Uh, Metroid Hunt is good. Better now than it was a moment ago. And we got another E-Tank, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm confused where this is on the map, though, because we came up here through the spikes and then went left. And then this was the hallway that we were in. Maybe I made this too far over. Maybe that actually goes here. I don't know. Yeah, we finished. Oh, I thought we finished an area. Interesting. Is this... Can I get in there? No? Okay, well... I think this is just an E-Tank room. I think I know where the next area we have to go is. Do any of these lead somewhere? Oh, they do. No, what? Samus, what? Is there... Was that a hidden... Is there a thing behind there? No? What is this? Why does this exist? Something, I just don't know how to get it. Ooh, we got fried. Okay. Uh, my goal now is to uh, get out of here and go back to the main zone. I guess zone one, where our ship is. Jen, it's, uh, it's helpful when you shoot at enemies that do 10 damage at a time and notoriously only seem to drop missiles. We have to go up out through here, yeah. Oh, and we have to go through that part with the lasers.
This part. I hate this hallway. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, save. Uh, we can go get a, a energy refill if we want, but we're doing just fine on health with the extra E-Tank, so let's leave. It's too much of a pain to go up to the top there. Ooh, but let's test if this... if Spazer... No. Hmm. Maybe Plasma damages that enemy? Or maybe I never was able to hurt them and I just forgot. That's very possible. I feel like there's some super secret path hidden through this block of bricks to get that other item, but uh, I don't really feel like pursuing it. Oh. Um, we can grab a missile refill though. Wait, that's not what this is. This is a different pickup. This is it. That one's way faster to get to. Okay. Progress. Progress. We're making progress. Now we're in... This area. Which is where we want to be, because there's acid here that maybe is gone now. Maybe, maybe. I don't know for sure. Oops. No! that health though and then I think this is gonna look different now no it doesn't look different boo So now what? Are there other areas with... with acid? <laughs> Was there an area in that other part of the map that I wanted to go to instead? I don't think so. We'll keep climbing out of here. Thank you. 
This is going to the ship, maybe? I have a hard time keeping track. Can I head out? Have a good rest of the stream and happy hunting. Thank you, Chozo. Take care. Have a good one. We just came through all this area to backtrack to the temp to, to the ruins not too long ago. It all looks the same. This goes out to the ruins. And there's gonna be another refill revenge room that I don't want to go through. Oops. And it still says I have one left. I don't think I want to be over here. Is there somewhere that I should know that I'm supposed to go to next? Because now I'm just... I'm back here. This is where we are right here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to do this refill room again. It stinks. <sighs> Is there, like, I don't know. What do you all think? Should I just ask for a hint of what area opened up now? I know something opened up, but how the heck am I supposed to know what it was? The screen shakes. No, the acid didn't go down where I thought it did. So now I'm at a loss. Because there's not any other areas with acid. There's an area with water. Yeah, that's the that's the tricky part. It's it's like obviously a pain to not have a map, but that we can make up for and and old school it and I enjoy. But the fact that like now I just have to walk around. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> was my experience with what Link to the Past comb over every part of the map because I can't figure out how to get to the next section. But that was old, <laughs> very old days of the stream gen where um, we forgot what items we had picked up. I don't remember what happened with Link to the Past, but I got very stuck for a long time. I didn't play with map drawing because I played the game with university classes.
So I think right now I'm making my way back to the ship again, which we learned isn't super fruitful. So maybe let's not do that. Unless something were to branch down from here. What is with this playlist? All right, should we go back to towards the ship? Or should we go back towards where we got the various suit underwater? Safe word. Those two options only. And if it's neither, then say neither. So I guess that's three options. I don't want to I don't want to spend stream time combing over every part of the map. Neither. Because up towards ship would be going up this path here. And then anything left direction, I consider that to be going back towards various suits. So it's not in zone one with where our ship is. Not yet, Kaiser. I just, I want to, like, I like to direct the questions based on what my train of thought is. And then maybe we get to the point where people can give like general advice but i'd rather do it on my own as much as possible so is it my next question is is, is it off of the main area or i have to go back towards either what are what am i calling these okay i'm gonna label these now because i keep running into this problem this is zone one this is where our ship is this is zone two aka chozo ruins or ruins i'll just call it that we'll call I think we were calling this zone three. This is the one where we fell down that pit. I don't know what else to say about it. We'll call it the pit. And the one with the missile upgrade and all the beam upgrades or the missile refill, we'll call this zone four. Okay, and then I have a map specifically just for various suit that I don't think I'm ever going to need again. Wonderful. So I think we have to go either to zone 3 or zone 4 if it's not off of zone 1. Is it off of zone 1? Yes or no? Safe word. Is it something in the first area? that I have to go back to that's open now. Okay, cool. Let's go to zone three then. Oh, um, well, zone one is like, okay, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Zone one is huge. It's your ship and then it's that whole section where you get the various suit and 
I don't know. It do I don't know how to define anything because yeah, there's no sub maps with names. So to tell other people, I'm like, you know, it's the part with the blue stones, which is the entire game. Well, I just went through them and told you which one I was calling which number. But if we need to change them out so that it's calling them by what the game calls them, we can. I just didn't think that would be necessary because, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty thoroughly mapped. It's just like communicating hints is really hard if we're not all calling them the same things. Chai! How was your stream? How was Echoes? I'm so jealous. I hope it was fun. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Chai! <laughs> it's good to see you. I think you're good, don't have to worry. There are zones in the main tunnel used to reach them. So what is the main tunnel? Because I consider, like, so far everything has been connected to one, somehow. And, like, maybe around this section it changes music and I'm not noticing it because this is all over here where the various suit is. I was playing DLC, I know. I hope it's so fun. I hope you're having a great time with it. Um, thank you for the raid again. It's good to see you. It's late for you. No, midday for you. <laughs> time zones, I'm so sorry. Early for you. <laughs> Confused whether I'm in the tunnel or not. The tunnel theme is the banger of the game. All right, let's turn on the game music. Had some great reactions. Good, I'm glad. I'm, I'm gonna go back and watch people's VODs of the DLC someday too. Um, Only a few minutes from midday, nice. Music could help me conceptualize. I think so. But but it's it's funny because you're right. I have a weird view of it playing it with my own music. To me, this is all just one giant chunk of a zone. Without music, there's no distinction. Except sometimes there's that little cutaway scene. And I know I've walked through an important door. Because it kind of goes darker than it normally does when it side scrolls. But... Even if, even if I had the music on, you still don't know, like, where to go back to in Zone 1. Or not Zone 1. So zo the tunnel doesn't, it's not a zone, it's just called the tunnel. So this is tunnel and zone one combined. I think I also combined like part of three and four down here in the corner. Cutaway scenes are a thing, yeah. So, uh, okay. I, I normally, we wouldn't run into any of this and I would tell you all to stop helping me because, you know, spoiler rules. I'm just, I need like some kind of hint to get to a place where I will see the next area. But we're running into like these horribly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? aggravating semantics and <laughs> problems trying to label things like I don't want help I just want 
hot and cold to find the next entrance. Like I was trying to narrow it down of where to go, but we ran into a whole conversation that I don't want to have. It's purely music, yeah. Oh yeah, I said I was going to do game music. Yeah, exactly. Um, here, let's do this really quick. Is this going to be loud? No, because we're in the pause menu. Bam, 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 bam. This is it. The tunnel music. We've heard this before. How many do we have left? 16 and 1 in this area. I really miss the feeling I had the first time I played the base game, and I had it again. Oh, I'm glad, Chai. Sorry, you came in at a time we were having a million discussions about the map. Let me give you a proper shout out. And if you're interested in Outer Wilds DLC, that's what Chai is playing right now. Uh, a wonderful member of the community. Go support them. Is it too loud? Man, it's so weird playing this not with lo-fi. Excuse you? Weird. These are new, right? So then is this a new tunnel? I think also because this is the one part of the map that I didn't mark out super well. But let's see if we get new music when we exit. Yeah, okay, perfect. So because I didn't mark this area, it's basically somewhere here that isn't properly mapped is where the next zone is. Let me move this. Erase, 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 erase. I think I also flipped zone one and zone two names. I think actually the ruins is zone one. And you might have told me that, but um, I'm renaming them. Tunnel is spelled T-U-N-N-E-L. <laughs> I, I flipped the U and the E in my head. Okay. Sorry to leave soon after raiding, but I gotta get lunch. No worries. Uh, my experience so far DLC is emotional. Yeah. Of course, Chai. Take care. Thank you again. I understand the raid and run. You're good. The music had me banging my head right away. I've seen Outer Wilds in the sequel announcement was self-aware... Uh, but never played it. Heard good things. Hope it's good. We're starting it on Monday, Tunes. I'm so excited. I'm avoiding all spoilers like you wouldn't believe. Um, let's just put this here for now. I guess we can start a new map. We can do this to avoid messing up too bad. Where's my paper? Here. Are we back to ambient boops and beeps? Once we go into the new section? Carl, are you heading out? Take care. This is a great song. Trav, hi, welcome in. We're having like a midstream map crisis. This is my zone five. But we are gonna mute this again. Rip. Only thing I know about it is how often people mix it up with Outer Worlds. Yep, mm-hmm. That was a huge thing. 
Back to lo-fi, that was fast. What? I don't want boops and beeps. Trav, how's your day going? It's good to see you. So this is where we started. I'm gonna have to come in, I think start it kind of here-ish. And this is the tunnel to the left thus far. No complaints here, all right. Again, when we get closer to the ending, cause that one's a better song, make sure to let me know. But uh, I mean, I like that it's isolated boops and beeps, map room music, but I can only do that for so long, especially on stream in headphones. Because I feel like if I had the game music and music at the same time, if I was just playing by myself, that would be okay. But when I'm streaming, I can't do like a soundtrack on top of music. It, it gets to me. <laughs> the boops are horrible. <laughs> Apart from being set in space, they're nothing alike. Yeah, they're very different games. Been a great day. My car has been in the shop for a few months due to a massive hailstorm earlier this year, and I finally got it back. Nice. I'm ca I'm happy for you. That sucks that it had to go through a a big hailstorm. Those are scary. That fits in with our <laughs> uh, natural disaster conversation we were having the other day. There's no way to separate music and sound effects. Yeah. This is cool. Goes up. And then maybe over. Am I gonna regret starting my map on this side of the page? It's possible. What is that? Oh, more octopus enemies. They drop a lot of health. They like upgraded pancakes, actually. Yeah, I was just saying that. Mm hmm. Oops. It's a bad storm back in April that took out thousands of vehicles on the east side of Texas. That is rough. Earthquake gang here, yeah. Oops, I didn't mark that properly. Ugh, Jen. Now terrified of hail. Hail is rightfully terrifying, yeah. Is there gonna be a fight in here? Yes, there is. Are we gonna get a new type of Metroid now? Or is this a oh, another gamma? Oh, don't get stuck down there. Oh, no. <laughs> My normal hacks aren't working. I'm just colliding with this thing. There we go. Da -na -na. 15. Now it's a zero. And now there's another earthquake. So maybe this isn't a zone? Maybe this was just one branch with one Metroid? Three E-Tanks. Yeah, now it's like, well... For Gammas, at least. We've got a little health to spare. I don't know what we're gonna face next.
Only magnitude five. I sleep. Oh my gosh. My region's hail is harmless. Yeah. I lived in um, West Texas for a bit, and that was by far the scariest hail I've ever experienced. But it was thankfully not too bad. I think one of them was partic one of the storms was particularly large stones. We're writing a D and D plot. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, wait, I forgot to mark this off, though. Metroid. If I got a whole new piece of paper for this <laughs> right here... I think I did. I'm just gonna throw that piece away. <laughs> yep. I was so determined for a new part of the map. That happens. Well, we did it for the various suit too. I'd rather have too many pieces that we don't need than have not mapped it properly like what happened with the entrance to this area. Um, and how was I supposed to know it was just going to be that one little section? There was no way to know. Good thing I'm using an eraser. Exactly. Pencil and eraser. It gave us a good laugh. And we got to find all these octopus pancakes that seemingly drop mega health every time, which is really nice. Now we're back in the tunnel. This room still has acid. Maybe that other room no longer has acid. This is not a zone. I don't think. I'll just put a question mark. Hmm. Huh. My controller fell forward. you. Rude. Uh, do we want to go up or down? I think down? But I kind of want to confirm it. Never made my own game maps, but I did jot down password saves. Yeah. Very important. I forget what manual it was. Oh, it's the Mega Man X manual that I have. Um, that was my brother's that has all of his passwords in it still. Which I find, uh, I feel like that's pretty cool that we still have his notes. I have not been able to find my Chrono Cross notes. I really wanted to find the notebook and my Riven notes. I don't know if the Riven ones still exist. I thought I kept the Chrono Cross ones, but I'm not sure. Forgot about notes section and game manuals. Yeah. So did the music just change here? Because we got a, a fade to black. I'm still going to go check this out, but I don't think I want to be in this room. Passwords, physical manifestation of a memory card. Yep. Yep, yep. This is where the acid was that I kept coming back to. 
Yes. Okay, so it was worth it to make a note of that. We just weren't ready for that yet. It's here-ish. The game throws a curveball at you. It sure did. It sure did. Oof, spikes everywhere. This, we'll, we'll say this went down like that. Is this gonna be not a new zone yet? Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe not a new zone at all. I'm kind of I'm messing up this map, but... I'm gonna make this go here. And this go here. And then I think we're going to the left, maybe? PSB is all fixed. Had a nasty scratch on this one. Oof. They don't make it easy to draw, no. This room goes to the left and up. We're gonna go to the left first. Oh wait, just kidding. How far up does this go? Is there gonna be one up here and one to the left? Oh, They make me scrunch it all into this tiny corner here. I hate it. We don't have room for this. You remember this from your playthrough a few years back? Nice. Looks brand new with new LCD. Good. Does this keep going up? Ugh. I didn't draw enough hallway space to make it keep going up. Oh, does it split into two? Ooh! What are you? Oh. You seem... You seem... Not as intimidating as I thought. Okay, so now... I have to do one of these weird arrows where I say, Oops, I ran out of room. Let's draw over here. You need to hook shot to pull off the armor, yeah. This little fellow was in Fusion Sector 1. That's right, because you all kept saying, oh, good old SR388 when I was playing Fusion, and I was like, I haven't seen these enemies before. Oh, it's weird. I kind of want to start a new section now altogether, like a new page. Because this is getting very messy. Oh, now I wish I had Ice Beam. Oh, that was weird. Alright. Do we take that tiny piece of a room then and use it for something else? Because otherwise I'm going to get lost if I keep approximating my map. Those rooms of 
Did you get good at space jump? Yeah. It's a test. Oh no, I don't like this room for fighting you, but we have lots of health. Okay. Suspicious. This is a refill, not a tank, right? Yeah. This piece of lead is really long. But it doesn't want to stay in place. And that could be a problem. One of those two shells. Oh, right. And then this is the thing from Fusion. <laughs> That's what it shall be known as now. Need to try the cardboard fix on left yellow Joy-Con. Oh, Joy-Cons. If only you wouldn't drift. Okay, this is new page. But now we're going back to here, which hopefully I have more room to draw that part. I sent mine to Nintendo get them fixed multiple times. I think at this point they just replaced them. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Now we're going over here into, I don't know if this goes up or down. Of course it had to be my cool yellow Joy-Con that started drifting. I feel you, Trav. Same with, I bought green ones, but no. They had to start drifting. Why, why is this like this? Why is it so cramped in here? They make this so hard to draw. And I don't feel like, I don't get the idea that this is a new zone, or these are just sort of mini branches off of the main tunnel. Because once again, it just says one Metroid. Oops. No! Ugh. Let's go like this. This is like one of those long ones. I'm guessing there's a fight in here. But these are kind of symmetrical battle rooms. And this is an alpha. And then that'll go to 13 and 0. 
Okay, is there another refill in here? Pro controller is excellent controller. Oh, that's an earthquake. Except for the D-pad. So maybe that other section of acid is gone now. And here's another refill. Okay, I can live with that. That was a Metroid and an energy refill. My terrible drawing, but it makes sense to me. D-pad looked good to me, but I've never used it. I don't remember having trouble with the Pro Controller D-pad. But I haven't, yeah, I haven't used it very much. Oh, no, you're right, we did use the, you're right. We used it for Galaxy and it was fine, but then when my Xbox controller died, the clear plastic one, I used the Pro Controller for Ori speedrunning and ran into a bunch of problems. I mean, it, it also, like, switching back and forth between the two was a bad time. That was back when I, like really wanted to use the Xbox, one, Xbox Ones, but they were dying, and then tried using the Pro Controller. It also doesn't hook up with USB very well. Yeah. Nope, hi. How's it going? Prefer Joy-Con D-pad for sure, yeah. Pro Controller D-pad has a lot of incorrect inputs when pressing left and right. Yep. Well, I'm glad it wasn't just <laughs> me, because I felt like I struggled so hard with Things I had previously learned in Ori and then went to go with the other controller and went to go do them and got worse and had to relearn them. Uh, my Xbox, like, wired clear plastic controllers were pretty worn out, yeah. But I, but this one's great. This battery one is great. I got them in 2016 at Costco. <laughs> and then this is coming back down here. Okay, okay. I feel that while jumping with PS4 controller on PC was a nightmare. I had to claw hold the controller for it to work. Yeah. Use SN30 Pro Plus for games that need a good D-pad on Switch. Huh. That's cool. Claw grip, best grip. <laughs> Oh, you can't hit them from the sides. Okay. Um... Now am I... turned around? Maybe? Don't want drift and smash matches where I end up just jumping into the abyss. Oh no. Wait, is this open now? No, that's always been like that. I'm trying to backtrack 
to that one spot that we opened that I couldn't find forever and then I finally found it. I'm trying to go there again. Okay, we're going the right way. Because this, this is where we went. But now there's more even lower down. What's that? Okay, so now we can use this page o again. Multi-purpose map page. Uh, where do I draw this? This is like a very vertical room that we're in right now. The last hour we've made progress? Yeah, finally! <laughs> I think it was tedious in the beginning, but I am glad I remapped some of the starting area, but we didn't remap quite enough. Um, but we learned some things. We got Ice Beam that we didn't end up wanting. <laughs> And we, you know, took out a couple of Metroids. But we've gotten a lot more progress since then. Bats! Oh. You look like Crocomire was beheaded. Poor guy. These are some cool new enemies. Are these in Fusion 2? Oh, that looks very strange. Is this supposed to look different on the Game Boy? This looks very odd. Is this an enemy? Can I bomb you? Oh, okay. Well, it's fine now. Yeah, they're so pixely. <laughs> I think this ends here and goes up. Oh no, I'm gonna run into trouble with the map again. Monochrome would not highlight it. Oh. There's a lot of, for the color patches and things like that, a lot of comments about making secrets secrets again because this <laughs> this color version uh, isn't, isn't good with secrets. I kind of messed up this part, okay. I'm playing this on MGBA. Which I like because we can do Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. All from the same thing. And it hooks up to my Xbox controller really well. Oops, we almost hit our head there. Uh. Yep, I didn't have anything else to add to that. <laughs> but the color's weird, I guess. But that's just because of the file I used. Not because of... Uh, oh, hi. The emulator. Oh no, I don't want to get kicked off of the screen. Okay, good six in this area so this is a new zone that's another way for me to tell without music is i can open it and see the new like timer okay 
Okay. It's unfortunate the color part does that, but I'm sure it's just how the game works. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Varia bubble. Mm -hmm. I think one of the highlights of the playthrough was Jen being scared of picking up Varia's suit. I thought for sure it was an enemy, because I had completely forgotten what the little bubbles look like that the Chozo statues are holding. It had been a while since I had shot one open and gotten a pickup from them. Yeah, I am sure that was highly amusing. <laughs> okay, two, two shells and some water. So this looks like it's gonna be a big open area. Oh, those are thorns that I can shoot open now, okay? Oh, I missed one. I was timing them all so well. Let's do this instead. Twelve left! That's not very many. And they're speeding up because we're seeing two shells at a time. And six of them are all in this area. Mm, this room is so tall. It goes on forever. And here's another shell. Dang. Where's a save though? We gotta find a save. This goes up and 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 up for 10 years. And then there's a missile refill. Here, I'll make it its own little alcove. We still don't know, is this fully the ceiling? It still goes up. Okay, I should have used spider ball just in case this is a nightmarishly tall tower and we're still going Uh, I'm scared. Okay, hang on. This kept going. I'm gonna do like a little wiggly line to show that it's even taller. Think about the time the game first came out when this was all pretty good graphics, how Metroid fans back then reacted. Yeah. I mean, back then, that's. <laughs> We're here in the chat too. <laughs> How did you all react when it first came out? <laughs> no, I was- I could not have played this when it came out, but... Um... I was around. Outsold Super, so I have to be okay, yeah. Dang, this Outsold Super? Interesting. I came over here because I wanted to map out this area, but... This is so intense. What are you? Ah. Come on! Let me get to it! Okay, so now we're somewhere over here, and there's another path down this way. Oh wait, I always draw these really weird. Uh, I think it's fine. Game Boy outsold Super Nintendo by quite a bit. Oh, gotcha. Has the install base advantage, yep. Sadly wasn't introduced to Metroid until Prime on GameCube, yeah. 
I reacted by non-existing. I was born in the year Super Metroid came out. Nice. Oh, hang on one second. I have to take just a really, really quick break. Um, stretch if you need to. Welcome back. We're good. We're good. Just had to step away for a second. Uh, Super was laid into SNES life and had to compete with new RPG. Boom. Yep. Mm-hmm. I made a Reddit thread asking about Super's poor sales and received many insightful answers. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Helpful fan base. So, this goes higher still and up and out here. We still don't know if this is the ceiling, right? Oh, it is. I think that's the end of it. Fortunately, I've got to head out. Good luck hunting Metroids. Hope everyone has a good evening. Thanks, Trav. Take care. We will see you around. I think I came across this and I... I forgot that I did. So we found the ceiling of this tall, 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 tall room. Because the human race makes mistakes sometimes, it's the reason for sales numbers. <laughs> Humans messing up? We'd never dream of it. Ooh. Uh, there's definitely a Metroid fight in this cursed spike room. Oh. Oh, well. I know so little. Tall, tall mountain Metroid style. Yeah, that room is intimidating. Huh? No. Boo. I don't know how to switch back and forth to missiles that quickly. I'm just gonna use missiles to break the blocks. Here we go. This is a good... Oh, no. Come back? Come back? Good thing we have that extra E-tank! <laughs> it was such a cursed room. This is why Spazer is awesome, because it clears the blocks. I just used my hundreds of missiles. Gamma met rude. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, yep. Uh... <laughs> So now we know that there's an E-Tank hiding here. And I think we've seen the ceiling up here as well. Yeah. Um... This just comes across here. And then I'll leave that open because I think we're gonna come back there. Is there a save like further down that tall room? 
that I can try to go back to because we're at the point where I um, am kind of looking to wrap up soonish. And if there's one available, you can you can safe word tell me if there's one at the start of the zone. Because we're very high up and I'm afraid that um, I don't want to explore too, too much without saving. The game's been pretty good. Should be in the tower to my left. Okay. There's an easy one close. It's been pretty good with save spots. Like there was one section where I kept returning to the same save. But I think there was one nearby. I just was too cautious to go out and get it. Where's... Let's go back to the base of this thing. This is so weird. I wonder if you can climb the inside and the outside of the tower? So this is technically all inside of here. It's kind of cool. This game is like we don't I don't think we've seen a tower in a Metroid game. Just tunnels and then Prime has a little bit of towers, but this this game, the way it is so differently open is very cool. I don't know how to describe it, but... BB is back at the door. I had to step away because she was clawing on... Oh, it's right here. On the other door. Um, but now she's back meowing at this door. <laughs> Prime had one tower that drank all your supers. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> M2's use of physical space is great. Mm hmm. Wave Buster Tower is awful. So now. I know that we can come this way. We don't know how far below, because there's water down here that we- I shouldn't draw that, because that looks too much like the other symbol I used up here. I'll just leave it open. We can- we can swim down here. This basically opens up to another tower inside. I am going to move this missile refill symbol. It's up here. We know it's up there. It's 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 easy to find the missile refill. And then inside of here there's oh, how do I describe this? You walked in, and there was another wall in front of you, and we went vertical, and then to the left, and the save was right here. It's interesting, though, because you go from drawing singular squares that depict rooms, and you're changing the size of the room, and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, this is the room, but we're making a giant border. You know. Oh, and this pencil lead. I'm gonna, I told you last time I would switch to a regular sharpening it, sharpening the pencil. And then I didn't. Womp womp. Okay. We saved. Let's see what's over here before we end. Hey, Jack's Lantern. How's it going? We are going to start Monday. Mm-hmm. I will be playing Echoes of the Eye. I'm very excited. Uh, I have not seen any of it, as you should for Outer Wilds games, but it's been very, oh no, very tempting to, <laughs> to watch, but I've been good. Keeping myself unspoiled. Okay, so then this pops out here 
basically goes, oh god, down into some water. Uh, that's it. And there's a shell. Maybe we can do a fight real quick and then that's the end of the stream for today. I feel like we don't have a lot of time Friday. I want to finish though. Hmm. Jack's Lantern, thank you for the, the prime. I appreciate it. Welcome to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad free viewing. We're very glad to have you. Thanks for that prime. And table welcome in. How's it going? Sneak stream for the end of the game like you did with Fusion, but depends on you, of course, just bringing up the idea. I feel like we might need to. I don't want to... Oops. <laughs> I don't want to bail on community night, because I think... I think we need it. I still like the idea of the half and half stream for Friday, but maybe we can sneak in. Or we could... Uh, I would say we could do it during the Discord stream tomorrow and make a little bit of extra progress so that we're ready to finish it on Friday. Sneak, yeah. Sneak B. To be fair, that wasn't a secret stream, but we don't usually stream on Tuesdays and we finished Fusion on a Tuesday. But I told you all at the end of the other one that I was looking to stream and finish it. Oh, there's so many of these spiky rooms. Oh no, that was the one we were at. Maybe. I do not like this area. Oh, I- okay, I forgot that I can't just space jump into that crevice. This part of the map is so intimidating. We have 11 left, five of them are in this giant tower. It feels endless, like we're never gonna finish. Dread really coming soon. We talked about this at the beginning of the stream too. I'm planning on starting Dread on the 15th of October. That is the current plan. I think we're gonna do our cosplays that we have lined up. We're gonna stream some Dread, and it'll give people a chance to play it first so they can watch without getting spoiled. Oh, no. I don't think I wanted to jump in here. What is this nightmare? You can wait. I, I, I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, I want to give people a chance to play it, and we are working on a couple, of, well, not a couple other games, one other game, Echoes, so, yeah. That's just the schedule of things. Okay, I'm glad we at least found the top of this up here. Oops, sorry. This is the top the top of the tower. We had a Metroid fight up here. This is where we're on the edge here. This kind of comes across and then the other side goes down. I probably didn't make this wide enough, but that's okay. And then we know that there's a couple entrances through here. There's this weird dark room here? Question mark? And what's in this room? The void, apparently. That was scary. We know there's a Metroid fight over here. Potentially two spiky rooms leading to Metroid fights. 
This map has much to be desired. My daily human kindness. Thank you, Antable, for redeeming human kindness. Sending human kindness from me to you and all of chat. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're here. It's good to hang out with you. It's good to celebrate Metroid Dread releasing with all of you. And I feel good being here, being in your presence. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and rest of your week. All the human kindness. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think I think that is a good place to end it for today. I think we had more health when we saved before. I mapped out what I wanted to map out for this tower. We'll, we'll figure out where we're ending with Metroid 2. I'll have a better plan for you come tomorrow, come Friday. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a full-on stream tomorrow. Normally I stream to the Discord at, at 12.30. But we'll see. Okay, friends. Let's find somebody to raid and let's wrap up.